you haven't seen these by now, this is Google Glass, which is the company's vision of the future. It can not only feed you maps, emails, and news from your phone, it can also let you send messages and calls, and even take photos and videos straight from the headset itself. So here's how Google Glass works. It doesn't sit directly in your line of sight, but just above it, so that when you want the information you need, you can look up and it's there, but it's not totally in your way. And to get to that information, you can interact with Glass one of two ways with the touch panel on the side, or with the use of voice commands. For the time being, to get the most out of Google Glass, it needs to be connected to your phone so that when you're on the go, you have connection to the internet so that you can do Google searches, send text messages or emails, and share photos on the fly. Okay, Glass, Google the temperature of the sun. This is the Google Glass timeline. It shows the photos you've taken, previous searches, but another thing it can do is pull from the Google Now service to deliver contextual information you're into, such as scores from teams you like, weather in the location you're at, and it can also connect to whatever apps you want. And so in this case, you can get news updates directly into the Google Glass display. With the $1,500 price tag, Google Glass is definitely not ready for the mainstream. It's still pretty limited with what you can do right now, but the whole point of this is to get it in the hands of developers so that they can come up with ideas of their own to turn Google Glass into something completely different. But for what it is, it works exactly how Google says, and it's a promising idea for the future.